How's it going everyone? It's Bright Guys Cards here and today we have a unique kind of opening. Uh, this just came out here in Canada. I don't know where this box came from, why it's why it's here, but it is a Lugia V slash uh, Unknown V premium collection box, or just a special collection box, sorry. Uh, that apparently is a, a uh, GameStop exclusive, because um, you know, it's been... It's been some quite. It's been quite some time since uh, anything Crown Zenith was kind of dropped or released, because you know it's been it's been a while. I'm just gonna lower the camera a little bit. There you go. So it's been a while since any of the Crown Zenith products were in release. So this is a little surprising to kind of see all of a sudden, because you know where are like Crown Zenith was the last set for uh, Sword and Shield, and then you know we've already had uh, Scarlet Violet, uh, Pile Day Evolve, and now we just had. Uh, Obsidian Flame just came out. I just couldn't remember the last. The uh, couldn't remember the. Uh, there's a promo card for you guys. Couldn't remember the name of the last set. So it is kind of interesting to see another uh, another Crown Zenith pack come out. Now there is the Lugia coin. Sorry about that. There you go. It has a nice. It almost looks like it has a texture feeling to it, but it, it does not. It's just kind of a. Uh, I guess that's kind of just the finish they used. But uh, yeah, so I this caught me really off guard. But you know what. If you don't already know, I am a big fan of Crown Zenith, so unfortunately, well fortunately, unfortunately, I had to pick this up because I can't help myself. So I'm just going to put the unknown uh, with the uh, Lugia card. We got the, <laughs> I thought we were done with the giant cards, but <laughs> we are not done with the giant cards. There is the uh, Lugia V card. We do get five packs. And can't forget about the little uh, Lugia pin up here, the little... Little tiny Lugia pin, interesting to see. But uh, yeah, let's crack into some packs here. Like I said, massive fan of Crown Zenith. Uh, this box was, let me see here, $44 uh, with the Edge uh, Edge Platinum membership, which is like the uh, GameStop, uh, like best membership, basically. Sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just picked this up. So it's about 50 bucks. So it kind of runs me, it kind of ran me about, um, it's probably going to be close to like $10 a pack, which isn't the greatest, but <sighs> Crown Zenith is just, we have to do it. Because, you know, you can find Crown Zenith pretty cheap now. Of course, we got to hit that Radiant Zard first off. Got the Namorous, uh, non hollow. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so I do love Crown Zenith. I don't know what I was just saying, but yeah, it was like $10 a pack, so it's not great. It's pretty expensive, to my opinion. I could probably find it for a lot cheaper, but you know what? We're still missing some cards from the set. Uh, <laughs> one of the biggest ones is still the Mewtwo card. So if I can just pull that card, I will just gladly just buy the rest of the cards just online, get it, get the set done, and then kind of be over it. But it is, like I said, it is kind of one of my favorite sets. So I had to pick up this box. Uh, but the Lugia, the Lugia artwork does look really nice. I'm not gonna lie. The unknown artwork kind of looks very similar to the uh, <clears throat> the regular V card from Silver Tempest, so that doesn't really add anything to uh, doesn't really add anything to it. And like, I just find like Pokemon kind of does that a lot. It's like they like the V will be facing the right, and then got the Gudra Glaring Gallery and the Warlord Don Hollow. Um, sorry, going back to what I was saying, I kind of find Pokemon does that a lot with some of the V cards. Like, the promo card will be to the right, and then the, the regular V will be, like, him facing the left. Like, I don't know, it's just kind of, like, funny to see. You know, I, like, I do like the promo. Most promo cards are really nice, but some you can just kind of tell. It's like, eh, it's not anything too, too special. But uh, anyways, we're not doing the greatest. Got the last vacuum. Is this card even... I don't... Sorry, I'm a little confused. I don't remember this card being in this set. I thought this was just a Lost Origin card. But maybe it's been a while since I've opened up any, uh... It has been a while since I opened up any Lost Origins, so... That's not a big deal. And finally, we'll go on to our last pack. Maybe I'll look that up after and make sure that's in that set. So, uh, hopefully we can get some little last pack magic going on here. Like I said, Mewtwo card was greatly appreciated. Or maybe like a Garatina. Uh, or any other any of the other gold cards. But yeah, you know what? I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Uh, if you guys could please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And I just messed that up. And we do get the Rotom V. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Well, you know what? I've, uh... That hurt a little bit. <laughs> that's a little unfortunate. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Crown Zenith, but this, uh... 
When you got, I kind of get like pulls like this, it just kind of hurts a little bit, but that's fine. You know, I was thought I was gonna run out of sleeves, but I didn't pull anything, so we're, we were good to go. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's it for today's video. If you could please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, be greatly appreciated, and have a great day.